And in a hurry. It's going to be a dribble handoff. Brandon Ingram from mid range. Looks good. Brandon Ingram with the 25. Down to three. Inside of four to play. That's not six straight by Chris Paul. Of his hands, blitz him. They're going to have to blitz him. Right now, this is what he wants. He got the switch he wanted. And he got the foul he wanted. That's the last foul to give for the Pals. Right of fouls now. 14 seconds with the shot. There's your blitz. There you go. There's your blitz right here. Right. Yep. He was swinging through trying to buy a couple of free throws. He's capped out of bounds with nine of the shot clock. So the Pels are out of fouls. Only one team foul right now for Phoenix. And Coach Vincent is actually telling them right now, watch Chris Paul swinging through your blitz just to get to the foul line. So it's having a And the Pels couldn't live without him in that game the way he came through in the fourth. Did you get a stop? Short shot block. Crowder. And? And it very has right. the right thing. So when that ball goes to the corner to Jay Crowder, I know it's your your immediate defensive instinct to jump to the basketball. You got to stay on Chris Paul. Yeah. You got to stay there. Not even allow an opportunity for that ball to go back to him. Three point three. It'll be Chris Paul at the end of the shot clock. It's going up. Short. Have an easy one inside. Nobody accounted for Jay Crowder. He just walked to the rim for the rebound. One hundred and ninety-five. Breakdown. So Jay Crowder a factor in this game because he's only got a second bucket, but he got Jackson Hayes thrown out of the game. Now Brandon Ingram. And all the way to the hole, no. It'll be Larry Nance into the shot clock in an air ball. So they're getting what they want. The Pels are struggling from the outside. And, and what's tough about windows or air balls is you don't get what they just got. It doesn't give you an opportunity to offensive rebound. Chris Paul to work the clock inside of 10. Now they're the hitting Chris Paul. Right. Now they're hitting. And wide open the wrong guy. Long rebound. Man. Second chance opportunity. And I'll tell you what, they were prepared for the hit. They were prepared for it. That was perfect execution by the Phoenix Suns. On the blitz. It'll be Chris Paul. Real short. CJ can't get it. And a third shot. Considering that's his first triple on his 15th try and a two. Okay, gonna make it a seven point game just the same with two to play. So bad time for a dry spell. CJ McCollum on the reverse. There's something, to be, yeah, there's something to be said by attacking that rim. They're gonna review it. No, they're gonna review Jay Crowder's shot and see if it was a two, two or, or a three. Yeah. Okay, they gave him a two else on the floor. I'm just not allowing that basketball to come back to number three. If he does get the basketball up. So, so now from Larry Nance, don't allow Chris Paul to get that basketball back. And he's listening to you. And he walked. He jumped up into the air and they're going to say that he threw it off Larry Nance, which he did. Six seconds left. Such a good lead guard. Crowder, Chris Paul, is going to get a mid-range out of it. And make it again. He single-handedly beat his old team. He is. Bottom line. We, we've, we, we've seen this movie before. That was game one. Game one. He took over and he burned the bells. You don't have a lot of time, by the way, to use the shot clock. Herb on the run. It'll be Larry. That, that's exactly what they want. They want Larry. They, they have the right guy. But what DeAndre Ayton is doing is he's doubling Brandon Ingram. He's doubling B.I. until he gets rid of that basketball. So Phoenix, the experience of Chris Ball. You know, we talk about C.J. going to the playoffs every year for the last nine. So is Chris Ball. The experience is paid off. Johnson, the easy one inside. And eight. Well, it's a foul. Bam. Time out for the Bells. And it's... Now a nine-point lead as Bridges collects a pair of free throws. We'll be right back to the Smoothie King Center. Paul, because let's face it, he got eight. What he spoon-fed him in the first half. It'll be Brandon Ingram, and he gets the triple. Paul also knew. He knew exactly what needed to be done. Yeah, he down the stretch. Had, right, he knew he had to really exert himself today because all he needed was one more win.
to get home court back. Yeah, here's the foul. It's the length of the game. But for some reason, the clock was still running. As Chris Paul makes it a three-possession game. CJ at 25 with six assists. But we've seen a play with half-court pace. And that wasn't the case. And, and that's the thing about tonight. Tonight's game felt eerie similar to game one. Right. The ball stuck. Right. The ball stuck a lot. There was a lot of getting out in transition, playing with pace. There was a lot of walking the ball up the floor and allowing the Phoenix Sun the opportunity to set their defense. Brandon Ingram. No space. Shoots three. Well, you can lengthen the game and see if they can miss their free throws. But you've got to have an early fourth quarter lead led by a couple. It was tied at 90. And then Chris Paul started. Basically. Took over. And, and that's the thing, you know, in practice tomorrow. You obviously have tomorrow and you have shoot around on Sunday to discuss. And that's how do you corral Chris Paul? How do you corral him? How do you make it a little bit more difficult for him? Because he's basically picking and choosing and getting to where he wants to get to. His get, comfort zone. Find a way to get it out of his hands. And that's easier said than done. I, absolutely. But when it was tied at 90, Chris Paul scored the next eight points for the Phoenix Sun. Brandon comes through. Now, denial. Now you have two on Chris Paul right now. And body's calling it time. Crowder will get it in. Chris Paul will be fouled. And going to the free throw line with 28.9 to play. So Chris Paul, 4 of 5 at the strike, 10 of 18. He was only 1 of 6. That first game, you and I talked about it. He wasn't a real threat from three-point land during the regular season, only 32%. But did he ever come through beyond the arc in the first game? We know he can make his free throws. He relishes moments like this. So they're going to bring Tory Craig, I believe, back into the game. They will between free throws. Shamit is out there now. They brought him in to shoot in case. They needed another shooter. Back to a six-point game. So one more for Chris Paul to make it a two-possession game. Or make it a three-possession game. And he does exactly that. Clutch, pressure, custom. Flopping is Johnson. Brandon gets another triple. So Brandon Ingram up to 34 on the bay. Can you get a steal? Yeah, Bridges will go to the line. Somebody other than Chris Ball. Get a four-point game, 20 points, seven. I like it. Right, you're trading. I like it. You're trading. You're right. gaining a point. Instead, he's going to the rack. He's got a foul in a hurry if you don't get the steal. Chris Ball asking for it. Instead, Bridges got a foul. And there it is. 12.4 to play. They'll still have a timeout remaining in case. So back to the line, Bridges. Young man on a national championship at Villanova. 25-year-old, 10th overall by his hometown Sixers, and they dealt him away, don't forget. And a roll again. He is touching that rim, boy. He's, that was a flat one again. 